first, let's get to the elephant in the room. Linebacker Zayvon Collins. Mm -hmm. I love this kid, and he would be my choice to draft. He's an exceptional athlete, and most draft, uh, most most mock drafts have him going to the Browns. However, there's a dirty little secret with Andrew Barry. He does not place any value in linebackers, and he doesn't want to pay them. We've talked about Barry that. Has, yep. Yeah, Barry has never actually said this publicly, but his tendencies so far state this. Yep, just look at what the guy does and look where the money goes. That's all you got to do. Exactly. Well, look at um, the, the, the Walker, uh, Anthony yep. Walker. He only yep. signed him a one-year deal and is only going to pay him $3.5 million. Now, what I do in the draft instead of, of focusing on every NFL team is I focus on what, what positions the Browns need, then look at each round at where they are actually picking, and then attempt to come up with some real – feasible guys who might be there ready to be drafted. So even though, say, Cleveland needs, say, a young pass uh, rusher to groom, I'm not offering up players such as Quiddy Pay of Michigan or Miami's Gregory Russo, who would be absolutely awesome picks, but will be the first defensive lineman off the board and probably be top 10, top 15 picks. Unless Barry mortgages the farm, Guys like these are not going to be there at pick 26. Yeah, there, there's no way you're getting to pick 26 in the first round. Nobody's selected an edge rusher yet. Like, that's not <laughs> yeah, going to happen. So, yeah. yeah. My gut reaction is that Barry is just going to let the draft fall as it may in the first two rounds. 